Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. We have a fascinating guest in studio today. It's Danielle Kelly. She's a special education advocate and consulting with Smart Kids Consulting. So welcome. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to talk to you. You're doing very important work. So how did you get started in this work? I was an educator in both public and private settings for over 16 years, wow. and I loved every second. Um, I started as a gen ed teacher, mm -hmm. and then I became a learning and autism specialist, and then ended my career as a behavior specialist. Um, my son, I also diagnosed throughout the whole process, and um, his needs became more significant, so I resigned about a year ago okay. just to make him my priority. And indirectly, I began helping others, and they encouraged me to open my own business. And so as of August 30th, it is official. Well, congratulations. Thank Starting you. your own business is wonderful, and, and what you're doing is so important. So tell me a little bit about the mission of Smart Kids Consulting. The mission of Smart Kids Consulting is to really bridge the gap or close the gap between the academic and social emotional performance of children. Um, a lot of times they're performing a certain way in the school, but we don't know exactly why they're doing it and we haven't tapped into their potential. So my goal is to really help parents navigate through the very emotional and complex process of the special education system. Now it's, it's SMART. Yes. So, but that's an acronym for something. So tell me what that stands <laughs> it for. It is. In the special ed world, there are a lot of acronyms. Um, SMART refers to a type of goal that needs to be written within an IEP. Um, it refers to specific, measurable, achievable, or attainable. R is realistic, and T is timely. A lot that has to be achieved. Yes, because the whole purpose of having those goals is you want to be able to measure progress throughout the school year. Um, if a goal isn't written as a quote-unquote smart goal, it's not valid or reliable. Excellent. Well, and I think that just brings me to my next question of um, why we need an advocate now. And I, I, I can see, <laughs> talk, sitting across from you, I, I, could, I absolutely see why I would want you on my team. So tell me, why, why do I need you on my team and why do we need an advocate in, in this complicated system? I feel like just as a, in general nowadays, whether it be healthcare, education, it is so important to have an advocate by your side. Mm -hmm. So someone who really knows the field, knows the ins and outs, all the resources available to these children, they're not always offered or typically not offered in the meetings. And so someone who can guide the parents and really understand why their child is behaving a certain way, mm -hmm. achieving a certain way, and brainstorm with them the appropriate accommodations and services, it's very helpful. Um, I also have been in thousands of meetings through the years. <laughs> So whether it be as an administrator, LE rep, an educator, um, I loved every second and felt like I navigated them with confidence. Every meeting for my child, I cried. It's emotional. So just having someone there who can take notes for you, mm -hmm. ask the right questions, um, be objective, and then to debrief with you after to explain what just happened, because mm -hmm. sometimes you walk out and your brain is just spinning. Um, so I think those are two really important reasons why an advocate is needed. Well, I, I definitely agree that an advocate in so many parts of our life is helpful because we're in the one in the middle of it. Absolutely. You can't see clearly you when you're in the middle of things. Right. And, and it's emotional. And so yes. that, and especially as a parent who is trying to navigate the best for their kids, yes. it's so important. Now, there are other educational services out there. What sets yours apart? I am sure others parallel me with this, but I do love that I see it through the lens of an educator of over 16 years, as an administrator, um, but most importantly as a parent of a child who's had to navigate the system completely alone and advocate still almost daily for my child. Um, I can offer a very realistic approach to parents. Um, I will never promise them things that I know a school can't offer them because I get the ins and outs, mm -hmm. but I guarantee I can offer them more than what they're currently offered. Um, also, I only take five clients per month, or let me rephrase that, five new, new clients, clients per month. Okay. 
a tremendous amount of record review and research goes into every new client that I take on. Um, I parallel it to the medical world that if you don't have the proper diagnosis, you can't create the appropriate treatment plan. And it's the same thing with these children. It's really looking at the function of their behavior, um, why they're performing the way they are. And um, I research like crazy, I love it. But once we can figure that out, we can create an appropriate plan. Um, I don't want to take on more than five because most of these families are exhausted and they're in crisis by right. the time they find me. Right. So I offer unlimited contact to me during that time, whether it be emergency meetings with the school. I draft all the letters and emails to the school. Um, parents just call me for support sometimes mm -hmm. and guidance. Sure. And that is a service that I want to offer them. Um, I also, they could pay me by the hour, but I've never had that. Mm -hmm. um, I offer long-term care. And what I mean by that, it's for one year. So from the date of the contract signing um, for 365 days. I realized on my own journey that the second you get an IEP doesn't mean the process is over. It's exciting and it's a first step, but you have to make sure that the IEP is working. Mm -hmm. Is it working for the child? You have to be in constant communication with the parents in the school. And because these families are exhausted, I jump in and help them with that. So it's kind of taking something off their plate so they can focus on just their child at home. That's awesome. Tell me a little bit about your style. How do you achieve this? Because you've you <laughs> got to work with a lot of groups. So how do you, what's your style? Absolutely. I don't feel like I'm a threatening human being. No, I feel, <laughs> I, I feel like you're very warm. Thank you. Um, I think it's important that we're fighting for the same cause, mm -hmm. which is to make the child successful and provide them with whatever they need to tap into their potential. Um, we always have this conversation before our first meeting. Mm -hmm. I sign myself in as a friend. Now, the school clearly knows, or whatever setting, that with my background, I know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a non-threatening way to know I'm part of this team. I'm here to help. I will offer suggestions. I will make sure the child gets what they receive. But I am not a hostile person at all. I think everything can be achieved in a very collaborative manner. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what advice would you give families who are find themselves with a special need child? As I said before, every family or client I've taken on, they are emotionally exhausted. What they deal with at home is so much and then worrying about their child at school and getting all these phone calls, it's a lot. So know you're doing an amazing job. You're doing the absolute best that you can. Um, we're our own harshest critics. Mm -hmm. And so you have to give your permission, yourself permission to know that you're doing great. Um, I also started every year with my students at every level um, with a unit on successful role models that had disabilities. So that's your Albert Einstein's, Walt Disney, Alexander Graham Bell, and then celebrities, Tom Cruise, Channing Tatum. The list is exhaustive. Mm -hmm. And I love doing that because so many of these kids, their confidence is so down. They know they're different. But look at all those successful examples. And that is what Smart Kids Consulting does as well. It's not looking at the deficit areas all the time. It's really tapping into the child's true potential. And behind all those success stories that I read about was a mom or a parent or a teacher that believed in those children. And that's what it's all about. Well, I think you're amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. And you're offering a great service and, you know, and doing important work because those kids are going to grow, grow up and do amazing things. Thank you. Yes, so, they will. <laughs> they will. So thank you for stopping by Business Connection and giving me a little idea into your world and what you do. I wish you huge success. Thank you. I appreciate your time. It's been wonderful. We're going to be right back with more Business mm -hmm. Connection. Stay tuned.